A study published in 2006, the HIM study, Hypogonadism in Male study, found that almost 39% of men aged 45 and older who went to their primary care doctor's office for any reason had low testosterone levels. Hypogonadism in men, which in aging men is often referred to as male menopause or andropause, is simply a lower than normal level of the male hormone testosterone. This is the most common hormonal deficiency that affects quality of life in men. Classical symptoms of hypogonadism that are the most well known include decreased sexual desire, erectile dysfunction, and bone loss. However, we now know that there is a much more serious consequence, an increase in the cardiovascular disease and death. Low testosterone levels lead to a decrease in uh, lean body mass, an increase in belly fat, insulin resistance, inflammation, and a worse lipid profile. The result is an increase not only in metabolic syndrome, but also in actual incidence of coronary artery disease. The extent of atherosclerosis has now been directly linked to testosterone levels. Men with high testosterone levels have less atherosclerosis. And we also did a study here at ZRT, and we found that men with high testosterone levels had a better cardiometabolic risk profile. Yes, testosterone supplementation does help. Several studies of testosterone supplementation have shown an improvement in cardiometabolic risk markers. And researchers are now suggesting that testosterone supplementation can be used together with diet and exercise programs to help prevent or even to reverse metabolic syndrome in overweight men with low testosterone levels. It is very important to ensure that testosterone supplementation is properly monitored with regular blood spot or saliva testing. At the same time, testosterone levels should not be increased higher than the normal physiological range. So it is always helpful to discuss with your primary care physician about hormone testing and any supplementations required.